we are going to discuss transradial approach for addressing bypass graft lesions. There is a popular belief that the bypass graft cannot be candidated so well using transradial approach and transfemoral approach should be used as a route of choice. However, we will show you how we candulate the bypass grafts during diagnostics and interventions. There are certain tips and tricks involved particularly for candulating the venous grafts and particularly for candulating left internal memory while working through right transradial approach. Here is an example of a patient whose saphenous vein graft to OM branch was cannulated using the same 5F OptiTorque TIG catheter. Let me tell you that many times with the use of single diagnostic catheter that is 5F OptiTorque TIG catheter, we are able to complete not only the diagnostic angiogram of native arteries, but also all the bypass grafts including SVGs, radials as well as left internal memory and right internal memory artery grafts. In this particular case, catheter was used to cannulate saphenous vein graft to PDA. In this patient, the intervention of two separate lesions in SVG to OM was performed. The graft was cannulated using a 6FJR4 guide catheter and the lesions were crossed using a 0.014 inch BMW PTCA wire. The first tent was deployed in the proximal lesion. You can see the optimal result. Deployment of the second stent is in progress. The second stent is deployed in the distal lesion. The end result is satisfactory. This is another view of the end result. This is an interesting case of two very tight lesions in the saphenous vein graft to PDA. The first lesion is in the proximal part and the second lesion is in the distal segment. 6F AR1 guide catheter set coaxially in the graft. Interestingly, the distal protection device was deployed in the middle part of the graft equidistant from both the lesions. The reason for doing this was obvious. We were not able to negotiate the distal protection device distal to the second lesion. The proximal lesion was stented. The end result was satisfactory. Now we were able to negotiate the distal protection device distal to the second lesion because the resistance offered by the first lesion was eliminated. The distal protection device deployment was successfully done. Please note that we had to use a body wire to negotiate the device distally. We were able to deploy the second stand successfully. The end result was good. Another view of the end result. Here is an example of Lima graft cannulation using a 5F IMA diagnostic catheter through left radial root. This is another view showing Lima graft. For beginners, we strongly recommend the use of left transradial approach for cannulating Lima graft as it is quite easy to do so. It is believed that it is not possible or very difficult to cannulate Lima graft using the right transradial approach because after wiring the left subclavian artery, when the catheter is negotiated from arch to the left subclavian artery, there is tendency of the assembly to flip either into ascending or in the descending aorta. If the angle of left subclavian is more acute, the operator will have more difficulty. I am now going to show you a technique developed by us which is dependable and reproducible. In this example, despite the distal end of guide wire positioned deep in left ulnar artery, the assembly has tendency to flip repeatedly into ascending aorta. The BP cup was tied 
over the left arm and inflated at 200 millimeter of mercury systolic pressure that was higher than the systolic pressure of the patient to compress this was done to compress the brachial artery and trap the guide wire successfully. The trick worked to negotiate the catheter in left subclavian artery without flipping of the assembly. In the same patient, we brought the catheter back in right subclavian artery, removed the BP cuff and did complete flexion of the left elbow joint to trap the guide wire. The technique worked so well. BP cuff technique may at times be more cumbersome and there may be difficulty trapping hydrophilic guide wire. This is the problem which can be completely eliminated using the elbow flexion technique. This is another example. A 0.032 inch hydrophilic guide wire is trapped deep into the left ulnar artery. Simon 1 catheter was removed. While negotiating IMA catheter, the assembly had tendency to slip in the ascending aorta. Elbow flexion technique was used. You can see that despite slipping of assembly, the catheter could easily be negotiated over the bizarre loop into the left subclavian artery. Selective cannulation of Lima was done successfully. I have shown you the technique of diagnostic cannulation of Lima using right transradial approach. Now I will show you an example of Lima intervention using the right transradial approach. A 5 f Simon 1 catheter was used to cannulate the left subclavian artery selectively. All the steps described in the diagnostic cannulation technique were repeated and a 6F JR4 guide was cannulated in Lima. Here you can see a membrane like lesion in the proximal part. A 0.014 inch BMW PTCA wire was negotiated across the lesion. Procedure is in progress. Now the stent is deployed across the lesion. Deployment in progress. This is the end result. This is another view showing the end result.